I love the college game, and to have my son's coach at the college level is tremendous. Rhode Island to be so close to where my wife and I live, we get a chance now to see a lot of the games. Because I'm a coach, I know more about what could go wrong, whereas fans kind of deal with the now, like I'm remembering timeouts, who's in foul trouble, uh, the officiating, you know, matchups, all that stuff is in my head, and most people are not going through all of that stuff because they didn't coach 50 years. You look at these kids right now, that are older kids, it's a family, how mature they are, how they uh, really assist in them getting stuff done, but they're enjoying themselves. These are guys that are getting their laughs in, making fun of each other, paying attention to coach, making fun of him, he's making fun of them. It's a very close group that Danny makes a lot of demands of. If you owned a deli and you were gonna retire and you want your sons to run the deli, it's gonna be a better deli than you ran, then you'd be, you'd be excited about that. Well, I didn't own a deli. I coached in high school a long time. Totally enjoyed watching my sons play in college. And then there was a little break in the action. And all of a sudden now, my wife and I are living vicariously through, you know, both of them coaching in college. Bobby played at Duke in 1993. So we can forget about it. That's 25 years ago. You know, the East Correction blood is thicker than water. Look how I'm dressed right now. I have no Duke shirts on this trip with me. It's Rhode Island. Not one moment will I think about, gee, I feel bad for Duke a Hall of Fame coach with at least four NBA first round picks on the team. And we want to see these guys go in and just go out there and as a group outplay them.